What is going on guys, we're back with another video and we are in our LA Chargers online user franchise. It is week 9, we are 6-1, and one. going against a Raiders team, not having a whole lot of a success obviously, but I believe there is a new team uh, or new user using them. Uh, the previous owner, he's uh, he watches the channel a bit, uh, he was going for the full rebuild mode like John Gruden, but uh, he just kind of, I don't know, he just didn't respond for a while, so... They ended up replacing them. I think this is a, a new user at this point. I can't tell. At one point, there is going to be a new user. Can't tell if it was already. I don't know if it is now, if it's coming up. Either way, it's against the Raiders. That's all you need to know. Stop bullying me for answers, okay? This isn't an interrogation. We are playing in Vegas, all right? So, so be happy about that. Look at the moves. Nice little gainer there. Good about, what, eight-yard gain. McKinnon, not a bad play. Second and two from the 49-yard line. And there's an interception. Who is that? Is that Perriman? Denzel Perriman. Not really known for uh, getting a whole lot of turnovers. Kind of known for big hits. Not great coverage per se, but definitely. Oh, my God. Absolutely destroyed off the edge. But uh, definitely a big hitter and uh, definitely a presence that can be felt throughout most games. There goes Hunter Henry, a nice gainer of 28 you know, it wouldn't be much of a game if Hunter Henry didn't get involved early and often. Second and seven underneath to Tyree Cleveland. Holds on through the user hit. Down to the three now after a couple of short runs. It is now third and goal. Can we convert to the outside? Tyler Lockett, a guy we don't say or throw to enough, gets the score. And I'm, I'm very happy that he did. And inside, nice find and a decently tight coverage. I mean, it definitely looked tight, so... A lot of uh, confidence there to throw that ball in there. Second and 12 after a failed run. Nice spin inside. McKinnon going to fight for a good five-yard gain. Third and six, very manageable. If we can get a little bit more, probably get some sort of points to the outside. We clutch up with Nwosu. He, I think, goes for the field goal but misses it. So it's going to remain a 7 to nothing game to the outside. Maybe Hunter Henry, though, wide open. That's who we take. Hunter Henry gets almost 20 on the play. So far, 6-for-6 six for, six for Jacoby. Hasn't missed a throw yet. Not really a whole lot open here, though. And here in the second year route, good old Tyrell Williams, Mr. Reliable. Maybe should have kept running, but a good gain of 30. Jacoby Brissett having one hell of a first half so far. To the outside, Tyree Cleveland for the touchdown. I really don't hit that route very often anymore, but if it's wide open, it's very hard to ignore, so... That's where we go with the play and gets batted down. Lots of pressure. Gets the ball away, but it doesn't go very far. Third and six. Looking for some pressure. And he finds the man. Huge hit, but had enough of it to hold on. Second and ten now after a very clutch first down there. Down 14. He's got to put up some points quickly. And there he trusts it. Throws it kind of at my user. Very tough throw, and he makes the play. Very, uh, pretty impressive stuff there. Uh, nice couple of moves. Does get a flag here, though. A little bit of a play. That was a face mask. Okay, so now he's all the way up to the 9. Inside the 10 now. Inside, and he gets the throw to, I believe, Jared Cook. Maybe. I don't even know. But either way, it's a touchdown. So, hey, that's uh, that's a pretty impressive drive. Can't lie. Uh, here, first and 10 inside Tyree Cleveland. Rolls over almost for a first. 10 for 10 passing so far. Definitely a good deal. I recommend buying it so hunter henry might make it 11 for 11 he does jesus can't believe the uh the start we're having here looking for the same route we had before is it open not really but who is hunter henry the man the best tight end in the league here we go on defense aaron donald getting a little happy on that defensive line doesn't hike it though probably didn't expect it i didn't either and inside who is this is this paramount again no it's jatavis so Jatavis Brown has a chance to take this six, and he does. We extend the lead to 28-7. to seven. So even though it looked close kind of early on, we've been scoring very quickly. And it's just, it's just a wild one. And here, oh, Jatavis, intercept that ball for me, please. Off to a little bit of a slow start on picks. Last week was obviously a big one. And then this week, really nice for Jatavis uh, as well. And here... Trevor Williams, I believe, on the pick. Getting a couple of interceptions now. And look at Trevor. Slips. And he was one away from making that happen. Two minutes left in the second. Got to keep scoring. I mean, if the team can do it, wow, what a catch. But 
What the hell is he doing? That's the first incompletion of the game as well, which really sucks. Second day, but I mean, if it's going to be there, you might as well. And here's the pressure. We will continue scoring, though. 31 to 7. First and 10, trying to get a play with Aaron Donald. We don't. Number 17 gets to the 35. It's going to be short, but it's uh, probably better than a first down, especially in his situation. He needs to take a shot. And I mean, I'm going to call that a shot. That's a good, what? 15, 20 yard gain because, you know, it switched sides to the 47. Didn't look like it, but it definitely was. And here, these safeties, these linebackers, way too talented. It's going to force a fourth and two on that stop. 34 seconds left. Interesting call. He gets the catch. He's running down the sideline and he dives in for the touchdown. What a play. That was amazing. Haven't really seen too many people dive into the end zone. Uh, you know, in, against me at all. Here inside, though, Tyree Cleveland gets a little bit of room. Normally when people dive, it just doesn't work out, but that definitely worked. He definitely wasn't going to get the touchdown if he didn't dive here. Tyler Lockett wide open. Two seconds, one second out of bounds. So, of course, we get another field goal. Up by 20 to start the second half. We get the ball. Tyler Lockett finished strong, and he takes it to the 50 right on the dot. What a return. But here, a couple of struggles and plays. It's a third and nine Looking for the conversion inside. Tyree Cleveland catches the ball. Slips off. Cleveland for 49 and I believe his second touchdown of the game. That is an amazing play. And the youngster continues to dial up some stat line. So first and 10 goes to the tight end. Gets about 15 plus on the play. We're giving up a couple of these really big plays that we could, you know, contain them for. Maybe even this one can consider, you know, be considered one. We are coming up clutch on third down, though. So we get it to third down. I feel very confident. Aaron Donald and here. Wow, what a catch. Is that, once again, I don't, is it? No, it can't be Jared Cook. Is that Walford? Maybe that's Clive Walford I'm thinking of. Jesus, that man is making some catches. Third and one, like I said, with these clutch third downs. Perriman pops him and forces a field goal. Melvin Gordon to the left side, spins inside. Melvin outrunning players. Melvin is gone for 65 yards. This team is just built to win. The Raiders still, a, you know, a few pieces away, I would say, uh, from really being able to compete. I mean, there's really no comparison between the rosters, so things like that are bound to happen here and there. Melvin, though, usually not one of the guys to be a part of that success. But that's a good play. I mean, you can't. there's nothing really else to say about it. And here, who is this? Is this Aaron Donald? It's Joey Bosa. This pass rush is lethal. Wasn't much of a sack, though. Uh, so, I mean, hey, still a nice play on the stat line. And there goes Perriman for his second pick of the game. Of course, with the amount of points we have, scoring at this point would be a little bit of overkill. Eckler in and out moves, finding room. Look at Eckler, a good 15, 16-yard play there. First and 10 from the 31-yard line. Eckler going to get another handoff. Eckler finding more room. Eckler cutting it. Gets the first again. Ground game starting to develop a little bit. Sadly, we can't keep Melvin in, so probably won't get 100 yards unless he gets some points against us here. Eckler to the outside. He's a few yards short to the three-yard line. Third and goal from the four. Once again, not really trying to score here. I actually prefer not to. Bortles is in. Why not just take a shot? Misses the throw. And uh, I believe I actually punt the ball here because, once again, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe I throw the ball up. I can't remember what happened. But either way, Bosa misses the sack, regathers himself, and then brings him down finally at his own two. And here, McKinnon tries to run out of there. Can't really get much. We get the ball back third and 13. At this point, pretty much just showing any highlight play we might get. Eckler to the outside on third and 13. That's pretty much the dagger. That's a... A very unexpected play to happen. Third and eight, maybe another one. Maybe we do have another play here for you. And here looking for someone open. We get Tyree Cleveland in the clutch. And that would end the game. So we win 47, I believe, to four, uh, 17. Uh, there it looks pretty interesting still. Wentz gets sacked by Bosa. Pass Rush had a pretty good uh, game, especially in clutch moments. You know, it wasn't all just like three, four yard sacks you know, coverage sacks on first or second down. There was a couple of clutch ones that really either set them up in a bad spot or actually ended the drive. So if we can keep that pass rush up, a mixture of that and the linebacker baits, we could be well on our way to another Super Bowl trip. Obviously not since last year, but from the first season. So 
Definitely looking forward to that. Tyree Cleveland, nice little uh, breakout game, I suppose, if you want to call it that. And I believe we are going to show the midseason stats slash awards at this point. So at this point, we have played, I believe, eight exact games. So definitely on par for, you know, 40 touchdowns, 4,000 yards, which is basically the goal for us. Uh, Melvin Gordon Eckler, though, a little low. The pit, the touchdowns are fine. I think they'll easily get double digits each, probably. But the yardage, I don't know about. Tyree Cleveland, on the other hand, and Hunter Henry. Looking pretty prime. Tyler Lockett, maybe. Tyrell Williams, though, really underperforming. But that's mainly because he's resumed the, you know, he's assumed the role of Keenan Allen, the bait man, taking all the double teams. And, uh, you know, it's working for Tyree, I suppose. Looking at the pick numbers, we're pretty solid. Now, here's the awards. What are we looking at? So, Deion Jones killing it with picks is the MVP so far. Jacoby Brissett at number seven, Miles Sanders, and another great player, a rookie, super fast, getting a lot of a lot of stats. Uh, Jatavis as best defense player in the league. Jacoby glitched as there's no quarterback rank for him. Best wide receiver, we are number four. If we keep it up, he could make his way into the top two, maybe even number one on the season. Might be able to sneak away with it. But yeah, I mean, a lot of football left to be played. Hopefully you guys join me for those matches. It's going to be one hell of a season, hopefully. And yeah, hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!